able to write their expression using Adam's theorem. So this finite we already saw in our last class. Like a finite automaton to regular expression can be done using two methods. One is the Adam's theorem and second one is the state elimination method. So in the, here we'll see Adam's theorem. Uh, before solving this problem, let us see the steps that are required for solving this. And step one is first you need to identify incoming edges from this given question. So from, from the in incoming edges, you need to convert state equations. Okay. So I have here incoming edges nothing but see if you consider this Q1, this is nothing but incoming arrow. Arrow which is coming towards Q1. That is called as incoming edge. So identify them and then construct state equations. Next step two is if it is an initial state, here in this diagram, initial state and final state, both of them are same, that is Q0. From this initial, if it is an initial state, then you need to add epsilon in the equation, after constructing the equation. Step 3, simplify the equation. So here we need to simplify the equation by using this Arden's theorem. So let us see how to solve this step by step. So what is step 1? Step 1 is to identify incoming edges. So, so first let us take Q0. So find out incoming edges to Q0. First, first incoming edge is this one. Q1 to Q0. So this can be written as Q1 dot 1. Next find out Q2. So Q2 to Q0. There is an incoming arrow or edge. So that should be written as Q2 dot 0. So there is no incoming edge from Q3. So this is the equation. Next. Similarly you need to write for Q1, Q2 and Q3 also. So find out incoming edge from Q1. So first from Q0 incoming edge to Q1. That is written as Q0 dot 0. As it is coming from Q0 it should be Q0 and edge is 0 plus check whether there are any other incoming edges to Q1 nothing else next Q2 what are the incoming edges to Q2 Q0 dot so here uh, take it as 0 Q0 dot 0 and finally Q3 Incoming edges to Q3 are you have one incoming edge from Q1 that is Q1.0 next Q2.1 plus Q3.0 plus Q3.1 Why we wrote this? Because we are having self loop here. So we need to write for 0 as well as for 1. So now we constructed equations for the given Question or the, this uh, after identifying incoming edges. Now second step is initial state. Identify initial state here. Initial state is Q0. So you need to add epsilon to that equation. Add epsilon at the end of this equation. Next simplify this equation using Rm's theorem. So now we need to simplify one equation from this. We need to choose the final state. For you need to solve the equation with final state. Your final state is Q0. So we need to solve this equation Q0 by substituting Q1 and Q2 based on the requirement. So let us solve this. Here take it as 1. So Q0 dot 1. Okay. So now in order to solve this we need to substitute Q1 in this equation as well as Q2. So Q1 is giving Q0.0 and Q2 produces Q0.1. So remember them. Now substitute them in this equation. It can be written as Q1. So in place of Q1 substitute Q0.0. So Q0.0 dot 1 plus 
in place of q2 substitute q0.1 if the zero remains as it is plus epsilon so this can be written as q0.0.1 plus q0.1.0 plus epsilon so this is q0 so write this in terms of q0 q0 dot here uh, it can be written as q0 dot 0 dot 1 or q0 into 0 plus so here it can be q0 into 0 1 plus 1 0 plus epsilon ok take this q0 common and here this is 0 1 and here it is 1 0 so after getting this check whether this is in the form of r equal to rp plus q or not yes this is in that form so here r should be same based on this r only you will find out remaining terms so r equal to rp star what is our equation if any equation is in the form of rp plus q then you need to convert it into qp star this is nothing but uh, the equation which we use in Arden's theorem ok first check whether the equation is in this form if so you need to convert it into qp star what is q near epsilon p is this one 0 1 plus 1 0 star whole star so anything multiplied with epsilon it gives you regular expression only So your final result is 0, 1 plus 1, 0 whole star. So this is how the given finite automata can be converted to regular expression. So answer for this is 0, 1 plus 1, 0 whole star.